Howdy, it's your old uh, instructor, Ed, the CNC dude here. We're going to talk about Operation 2, uh, how we do it in our school. So we got Operation 1 done. Uh, the pocketing operation, sometimes we'll have this uh, yellow triangle. That's called a warning, so you can click on this. It says, cannot plunge outside stock. So we found that that's really not an issue. So you got the... If it's red, that's an issue. Errors, but this is a warning that uh, you may have to fix something. But that one seems to be an okay warning. Um, we'll get into that later. So another thing I like to do also is label these operations. So if I double click on this, let me hit cancel. I'll close up my window. See how that opens up? And I'm gonna just label that op one. Anyway, oh, maybe big letters. So I know exactly what that is. All right. So now we're going to work on the other side. So this is the material from side one. And if I do is to do a quick simulation right here. And a fast way to do simulation, if you want to jump ahead, is this is play. This is speed. Is this with the ball on it? It says next operation. So this is operation one, done. Operation two. Operation 3, and I have this on colorization, so they're changing colors by operation, not by tool. Operation 4, 5, the chamfering, more chamfering, got some spot drilling, drilling, and tapping. So that'd be all the operations. You can also do comparison and Notice that it's blue and green. So green is comparing to the model and blue is unmachined. So this is got what we're going to be left with. So either one is a good simulation. Now if you do it by tool, the color will change by tool. But I prefer the operation one because this one here we have one tool that does three different operations. So I'm going to go back to operation. And if you hover over this, it'll give you a little description of what each one is. Like this one says material. Like makes it all look the same. So whichever one you want to use. So this is operation. This is operation one. So we're going to need to end up with this uh, piece of material on the bottom, which we're going to remove to, in order to create the, the sixth side, which will be on this side. So if I hit transparent now, now you can see the model that's inside. I'm going to put the uh, material on. So inside is, we have this piece of material on the bottom. And we have to do chamfering. All right. I'm going to hit my home button. And I'm going to reorient this. So my X, Y, Z was up in this upper left corner. So if I... I would have flipped this around like top view and rotate it just like this. So now it's bottom view and if I rotate it this way, notice the notch is facing me. Hit bottom. And I'm just going to tilt it a little bit this way. So this is my original X side. And technically you want to be true to the datum. So instead of upper left, we're going to use upper right. So we're always going to be, if X, this is still the Y side, so that did not change. X flipped from left to right, and our Z is actually going to be the top of the finished surface. So we have to make a new setup. So we're going to do new setup right here, and we're going to reorient. So let's use, we're on milling, model orientation, we'll do Z and X. And we need to make the Z go up again. So I'm going to pick that corner. The Z is up, but the X is facing the wrong way. So I'm going to flip the X. Now it's facing the right way. And we're going to go back to model box point. And we're going to pick this corner right here. All right. If you double click the middle mouse button, it'll recenter for you. Okay, so now we, we have to be aligned to the model. We cannot use the stock. Stock is not accurate enough. 
I'll set up two. A quick way of doing the stock is not from preceding. We're going to just use relative size box and we're going to use some of the same numbers from the first operation. So we're going to keep the 0 0.05 and the top will now be the thick side and we're going to call that 0 0.230 and on the bottom we're going to put this is negative 0.75 and that'll create that material. This is a quick way of doing material. Alright, on this one we're going to label this one a different program number. We're going to call it 1002 and this will be let's see, Titan 1M Operation 2 and my initials. Right? And on this side we're also we're going to give it a different work coordinate system because we're going to do this as two vices and eventually we're going to combine them together. But we're going to separate them right now. We're going to call this WCS2 which equals G55 in the uh, FANUC or Haas machining system. Now I hit OK. Alright, so if I go back to Operation 1, notice it flipped over and I go to Operation 2 and now it flips over. And also, if it doesn't do that for you, you can actually set up optional views here. So the standard ones are top, front, right, and home. And then you can, if you right click this and say new name view, you can save, like if I want to save like for some reason that view, I hit new name view, and if I hit top, and I hit this again, it goes right back to that view. Now, I'd already saved these and I call this one Op2 isometric view or home view from the other side. So now I can close this one up, and this one's going to be Operation 2. Alright. We're going to use two tools from the first operation. We're going to use the face milling and the chamfering. So a really easy way to do this is just duplicate the operation. So I'm going to go duplicate, and it says face 1 and face 2. So these are identical. Just remember we're upside down now. And I'm going to move this down right to operation 2. Put it right there. And now if I pull this on, it says operation 2. And now it also gives me a warning. So what we're going to do with this one, we're going to go and edit this operation. And this will have all my settings from the first operation. So my geometry identifies a stock, so that's good. And we use, but this on this side is the only time we're going to use stock top because we have this extra material on there. So we're going to make all of these stock top on the side too. Stock top, stock top, and then leave model top as it is because this is going to be the the bottom of the part is now the our top. Then we're going to use multiple depths and the default is 40 thousandths and we find that works just fine. And then we could turn on finishing step and on this one we can put in what the, the amount that's kind of equal to the first side and we'll call it 02 and we're doing direction both ways because we're going to chop back and forth. And on this one, I turn on Extend Before Retract and hit OK. And right there, you can see it going back and forth, back and forth. So if I turn this on, there's our material. And let's do a quick simulate. I'm going to recenter this, double click. I have Operation on, and there's our little transparent uh, piece of material with the finished part on the bottom and press play. So now this is going to cut its way down. So every time it goes left and right it's also going to go down that 40 thousandths. And then eventually you'll be finished. And there it is, the last one right there. Okay, no material left. So when we do the setup, we're going to base the top of this is going to be our zero on the side two. And the corner of this over here is going to be our x zero, y zero. So on this side, 
we no longer need to shift anything. We're, doing, we're going to align to X and Y, and Z is going to be um, based on where it sits. So if the dimension on this, on the blueprint says 0 0.750, then we got to be able to maintain that number. All right. So the other thing we need to do is chamfer the back. So let's, let's duplicate a chamfering operation. So I'm going to duplicate that one. And notice it says chamfer one, co copy two. So we're going to drag this one down to here. And make sure it comes on after the face milling. And it says, this one says tool path out of date. So this one still thinks it's doing the bottom. Notice it's on the bottom. We'll have all our, our feeds and speeds set up. So we don't need to do that. Now we just need to disconnect from that. So we're going to hit X. And we're going to pick the top of this. And then we're going to use model top all the way with that. And see, now you have all your settings here. They'll all be ready to go. And there's operation two. And that's all you need for the back. I'm going to simulate that. Press play. Just speed it up a little bit. And you can even go back. Go back by operation. Back to the beginning. Press play. And chop its way down to zero. And then a chamfering operation. Done. And you can even do a time study on this. Like machining time says right here. One minute and 57 seconds. And operation one would be... 5 minutes 58 seconds. Like 6 minutes. So that includes tool changing time. So let's go on to the third part, which is post-processing.